My parents were born and raised in Romania at, during the time it was a communist country. So it was communist until late 80s. So they're born there. They came here seeking asylum, better life. I was born here shortly after and my parents were not educated. My father was truck driver, working hard, construction worker. And then my parents got divorced when I was young, four years old. My father lost a lot of his of what he built up in 2008, like your father. Oh yeah, mentioned it. So yeah, and then my mom was uneducated. My parents your were dad divorced. Left at that point? Yeah, he left in uh, when I was four. So I was like, it was 2004, 2003, and then in 2008 he lost a lot of his, is what he built up. Uh, so he didn't have like as much money to support. But when he left, were you still close with him or no? I don't remember. I was okay. too young. So yeah, so and then my mom just she used to clean houses. She used to take care of old people. She worked at Wendy's at even at one point in her life. I remember. I was going to school and my mom was working at Wendy's at one point. But yeah, she, so just a very hard life. Never had any money. Always thrifted clothes, buying clothes from second hand for like a couple dollars. Never had anything nice growing up, really, yeah. to be honest. And, and then what, when did your life start changing? When did you start working? So I got my first job when I was 16 at Taco Bell, KFC. And then after that... I think that, you posted a photo, right? Oh, that mm -hmm. was at McDonald's. It was at KFC. KFC, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's... And Taco Bell was a joint. It was two in one. It's my first picture on my Instagram, yeah. so... And the caption is like, start, yeah. player one, start. Yeah, player. Oh, yeah, and you have one photo as well. You're like, if my dad, uh, what did you, what was the photo? Uh, it was the picture of the Lambo, and if it was, um, what did it say? Like, <laughs> if the Lambo was rented, like, my, I don't know, something. Yeah, you it, have it, you have it. I don't yes, have. It was a very nice caption, but anyways. I yeah. don't have Instagram anymore, so I don't remember what I posted, but it was it was cheeky. It was clever. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, at 16, you started working at McDonald's and KFC. And then how the hell, oh, sorry, KFC. Talk, talk about, about, talk about KFC. And how the hell did you go from that to where you are now? Okay, so I'll just run you through the last eight years of my life. So there, then I went and vacuumed cars at a car wash. Then I went and I sold auto glass at a car wash, fixing windshields and selling auto glass. Then I became a caregiver, like my mom. So then I was doing that, I quit the job, uh, I was doing caregiving. And then I started getting into real estate and I got my real estate license. And then when like I got my realtor. license, yeah, as a realtor. Then I started drop shipping, drop shipped for a while. Then I started some brands. I started YouTube as well. I started making some like affiliate deals from YouTube, ad revenue. This is where I started to like have some sort of capital. So I started trading. I started some more brands, e-com brands. They did, the, they were the best ones I've ever done. And then what else did I do? I started my agency around COVID time. So 2020, mm. that's when I started my agency. And then I was also investing more, trading more. This is the point where I started to do really, really well with crypto, mm. making money with there, running my agency. And then fast forward, I started getting into money lending. I flipped my first house. Now I'm doing my first spec home, which is development. So I have my first build, which I is saw, yeah. my house is up there up north. A lot of money lending. My agency's running. I'm involved in SaaS. I have YouTube, but it's kind of on the back burner. And also, like about six to eight months ago, I started doing. Um, I have the free course, Discover TikTok Dropshipping, and that is it's a great course for people to learn to kind of. It's free, yeah. For it's like a brochure course on TikTok Dropshipping. It gives people a place to learn how to dropship for free to test it. The only thing we ask is that they use our affiliate links when they do it, so they get a discount. Fair enough. We yeah. get a kickback, and they get a free course. Yeah. So it's a great strategy. Very and then at the course. end, if they go all through all the free content and they're making a few hundred dollars a day, there's a paid course if they want it. But it's only designed if you're like, this is for you. Thank you.